Welcome to the Pirate Museum and that's it. And this story is about to start. It's about a woman that was pregnant. She got away with being hung. You would have to be brave to dispute a share with Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. In the shimmering heat of the shanty town that skirted the harbour of Nassau, violent confrontation was an inevitable part of life. The situation was made more dangerous and explosive by the pirate habit of being armed to the teeth and whilst very drunk. The women pirates were more than capable of looking after themselves. You either treated them with healthy respect or suffered the consequences. It was exactly this lawlessness that attracted the greatest concentration of pirates ever seen in the New World. Such pirates who Jennings, Boningold, Teach, Cotton, Bonnet, Davies, Lowe, they were all here. It is said that when a pirate slept, he did not dream that he had died and gone to heaven. He dreamed that he had returned to New Providence. This was their paradise. Plentiful food, wild pig, turtle, fish, goat, and a harbor easily accessible to a fast little pirate sloop, but too shallow for a naval man of war. Here they live beyond the law, beyond religion, beyond the line, on the edge of civilization, and under their banner of King Death. This is absolutely superb. It's actually better when you come here, like me, Andrew, and Bula, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But this is kind of virtually you're here, but please try and come here, isn't it, guys? It's worth it. It's worth it. You know that. You actually get much more than this video will explain, right, won't you? Right, right, you see it in person. You get to really feel it. You know? And you can touch it. Yeah, yeah. Really. And we can touch you too, Andrew. Yep. <laughs> and we can touch Paula's hand. Yeah. Yay. Uh, see, you don't do that in a video, do you? So virtual is okay, but being here is better. Come and visit the beautiful Pirate Museum of Nassau. See you in about two minutes, guys. Yeah, yeah. I love you. <laughs>